Hello and welcome. In this tutorial I want to demonstrate how to fracture an object in Houdini using the RBD uh, material fracture node. Um, so what I did, uh, I used a model from 3D scans I think the website is called and I imported this into um, well, first of all, I did some cleanup. So when importing the mesh into Houdini, uh, it looks like this, and it's very dense. Um, so I use the match size to align the axis uh, to the middle. And then I rotated the object by 90 degrees. And I used another match size node to align the uh, material, uh, the axis to uh, the bottom of the uh, object. So th this is a node from uh, Side Effects Labs. So to enable or to use this, you need to uh, install Side Effects Labs, and then you can access this shelf. Uh, this menu from the shelf uh, it's here on the side of labs and this needs to be checked also a uh, thing to, to note is uh, it's a good idea to update this tool to have the latest changes so you can uncheck production builds only and we'll, it will update to the latest version so uh, after that I went back into ZBrush and I uh, used a, uh, I retopologized the mesh using the ZWI mesher so we get some nice clean quads. Uh, I set down the curve to curve strength to 25 and the poly count to roughly about 15k. Right now it's a bit more. So we have uh, around 37k, which is fine, I think. You can also use this for game in game engines, like Unreal or Unity. Anyway, so um, so if we import this again with the Gozi import, uh, I added some normals. Then I added uh, RBD fracture object, uh, material fracture object. Um, by default the chipping isn't enabled but it creates a more realistic fracture. Um, I set down the constraint strength to around 10 or 5 and the level multiplier to 5 and um, what I also did is I added a sphere, uh, converted that into mesh and use that for the collision import uh, input. So you can see here down 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 there it says collision geometry. And um, well, if we if we hit play now, this will actually simulate, and it will yeah fracture our object into a thousand pieces depending on how dense uh, your fracture object is. So you need to cache this and then you, know, you have a simulation. So I hope this was useful. Um, see you in the next tutorial or video. See you. Bye.